we are going to share uh yeah there's an issue it's running let me check uh some sharing issues there let me check what happened yeah so i'm start sharing my screen now where uh like um where we monitor our any um, pause DTA transaction for that we generally use slash n sorry slash n slash pause dw after configuration when all system is connected then we perform this step all system means uh, pause system pi system car system and then ECC system all in the place uh, system connected through RFC you configure properly um, pause DTA and also uh, master data replication successful then you uh, start the data started flows from your pause to your car system then here you have to go to check this is the code slash n pause dw mon o this is the p code where uh, we generally check our and this is the posting date what is that we we have to give the date the posting date posting date means uh, the date uh, where sales or any returns or any transaction is happening in the post system and uh, on that day um, we, we need to put that day here so i'm checking here less than is equal to yeah because uh, um, uh, why I take less than because all transaction less than uh, today uh, yesterday day that's why so basically it's a posting day if you execute we can take any uh, T code and gray means unprocessed green means process this is the store and this store is replicated into your HANA studio from ECC system now if you go to directly to sales movement this all these are uh, you can see the detail of um, one by one is uh, transaction this is come one by one from pi system and if you go into one of any sales all these are sales transaction as per configuration uh, let me check if you go into particular transaction this is a transaction you can say uh, and all this we configure i show you 1001 is a um, sales transaction so you see this is the header data this is the transaction number date this way this is the cashier name of the cashier uh, who use the post system this is the currency this is the partner number or partner number and you can see the type group this also we configure here transaction type this is coming from our uh, transaction uh, sorry configuration and also you i already told you this number you have to share with your uh, pi person uh, not this number this number 1001 this number 1001 this is sales or so all this detail is for your header data now this is a line item data here you can see this is the article identifier means this is the en number here as per each and every article there is a en number it picks the en number and uh, actual value of that normal sales value or uh, whatever i i mean to say whatever cost system push into your uh, pi to car uh, P, uh, car system receive that data maybe there you can see there is no promotion number serial number or batch number for particular article if cost push the data or you forget about post system yeah if pi push the data to car system then you can see the detail here also it is serial number or batch or any promotion number is there so you can see the um detail here as per the pi push the data to your car system everything we have and all this is standard coming by standard we no don't need to do anything 
we what we need we need to just uh, getting the data from pi if you get the data from pi then it will be process this number um detail to your um a uh, car system but uh, sometimes what happen uh, the outbound i doc like i i want to say like born wpu born wpu tab ums whatever we configure the outbound i doc sometimes don't have the standard uh features standards field you can say like i'm i'm giving an example serial number so here um car receive all the like prefix zero also without zero any number uh, it rec uh, receive but wpu born uh, what happen uh, sometimes it uh, requirement is there like we don't want prefix uh, number so you have to remove the prefix number uh, as per the above code written for the uh, idoc and also you can see the you have to read the code uh, above code for your uh, any body so as per the requirement whatever uh, like um, you need to enhance the uh, uh, standard features but this features whatever we get here all these are you can say standard we, we don't need to do anything so this is the uh, item detail now go to this uh, section what is that this is the tender and you remember we configure tender type cache um, and also you can see a lot of tender type we can configure in uh, pause detail like um, mode of payment cash and also uh, debit card credit card any type and for that we configure here a uh, group first then assign the um, tender type to that tender group so this is all this and whatever you can see this this all coming from um pi system pi uh, push the custom segment to here because uh, somehow the testing system for me and generally if there is a requirement i tested here there is some requirement with customer they want like this way so i enhance the pi pulls the data but you can't see this field into any wpu born or tab or any ums or any idoc so what i did i did enhancement for, for that wpu born ums and tab uh, there is a you can see uh, if you go to that idoc there is a field i would like to see i'd like to show you if you, how we check idoc w60 this is the code or uh, give any uh, idoc uh, basic type wpu born 01 yeah this one html format yes i am sure they i have to wait what happen if you press the html format then it it will show you the detail of that idoc so you need to find out which field which segment you have to fulfill uh, let me check again system seems like hang let me refresh again so uh, generally we what we did we go to w60 and uh, we check here from here which uh, i doc and which uh, you can see um, of which field which segment is um, like that you all of you there can you hear me is the but it is audible yeah so uh, i think uh, some issue with my system like uh, it's a little bit slow i don't know what happened any uh, cursor is not work so give me 2 minute i just would like to shut down full system because it was the last one month i forgot to shut down just give me 2 minute uh, not 2 minute just 1 minute i just shut down and again log in okay so that maybe it will work so because uh, let's see it's not uh, let me check it will not work okay uh, so just uh, uh, wait i will be right back within 1 minute just shut down the system and again okay nothing is work so i'm just to stop sharing and nothing is no button is work here let me uh, check nothing is work
जुलियन प्लीज गिव मी लाइक मेक मी प्रेजेंटर यू दिया जुलियन Let me call Julian. Maybe uh, I am not pre organize uh, presenter. That's why uh, I am not able to share my screen. Let me call him. Oh yeah, I'm start sharing. I already started sharing my screen. This is my screen. So T C O D slash N slash Pauls D W slash one zero, and we talking about uh, like how we uh, find out like um, uh, which uh, if any requirement in I D O C which T C O D we have to go and we have to find out the fields detail. Like I told you. Uh, all this is standard if there is any um, requirement then how you find it for that um, you need to go to w60 is the t code to find i doc segment detail and all so i am here and you see all these are standard uh, standard mean uh, not standard custom whatever you can see here all these are custom mm -hmm. Uh, fields and as per the requirement, we can enhance. PI pulls this data to uh, car. Now car have to pull the data into ECC system. Now how um, it will be fulfilled? For that you you have to write some um, ABAP code and uh, which segment you have to use. Then this is the uh, story like your uh, WE60. wpu bond 01 and html format if you go you can see all the segment detail these are the segment and structure you can see and all this uh, through this you can find out which one and which we have to use for custom field and all uh, for this uh, we generally use um, uh, this one segment for custom enhancement to be used as required so you need to use this segment for each and every if you go to any idoc wpu tab or wpu ems you can find this uh, segment and you can push this data uh, all this data this are the um, pushed by pi to your card system and need to enhance your uh, idoc so you have to push this data through this segment and for that you have to write some code Uh, like um, uh, so that it will be uh, this segment will be added because it's a custom segment and you can see the field detail. So W60 is the place where we generally find out the detail of any of the I doc and all. So here you can see all these are standard. This is the uh, detail of um, um, tender item. If there is more item, you can see more line, and this is the um header and this transaction number how we um, uh, compare how we uh, check the different different transaction with pos your ec card and ecc system using this transaction number only this number in is same <coughs> in all place in pos card and ecc this number will be unique so using this number we can tra track any transaction any machine transaction you can see if there is a sales mismatch how you know like you can see there is a 
lots of cells is here so if uh, in real time there is a more cells in real time so how you track uh, this one so we can track this one using like missing transaction and no or uh, anything using this uh, transaction number this number will be unique for card for pause and for your ecc system so this is the here is the monitoring part and if you if you want to know like which one will be created you can execute here just press this you can see w tab or ums is created means it will be aggregated uh, there is a more transaction and the end of day if you set a job then only ums and tab uh, will be club aggregated and then will be posted into ecc so here you can see this one 105 here it's a bond this is a bond type i doc and there is the other option also if you want to push the data to bibw it will be possible if you uh, have to if you are going to use the ddf module then you have to use other task also here there is a 0050 task i'll show you later uh, how we uh, use this how uh, very when we are going to use ddf module i'll show you that part also but basically this is for pause dta general monitoring and all and all this uh this are the uh, store this are the standard data uh, coming for standard means uh, master data all these are coming for your hana views uh, we are using slt because the um, card system and retail system is different hana so we are using slt so all these are uh, coming from your um, uh, ecc system also if you go here you can see this en upc number also coming from ecc all these are master data all these are coming from ecc system if anything is missing here or anything is uh, not match with your uh, hana views then this will be fail here you will get a message like uh, um, article not found store not found so you will get a error message and it will be in red status now this is the monitoring part we monitor here and if you want to execute it you can see manually you can select this one uh, press this one then it will be execute manually if you want to cancel this one you can ca cancel this one also using this uh, button uh, ready to be cancel then again uh, uh, one step you have to cancel here then finally it will be uh, cancel you can cancel this transaction then it will be reflected into your ecc system also if you cancel this task here it will be cancel into your ecc also so um we can if there is any mismatch of sales we generally do this process uh, cancellation from here or reconciliation from um uh, or cancel you can say from ecc system so we can do this way from our system and one more thing this is a monitoring part you can say or pause dta Uh, remember the t code and this is the monitoring part and this way data will come now uh monitoring part of idoc sometime you see idoc is there what is idoc is uh, mean uh, idoc generally container of data now pi also push the data into your car system through a idoc a inbound idoc like uh, w02 Sorry, WE02 is the T code to monitor IDOC. We like to remove the date. If you want to monitor day by day the IDOC, here all the IDOC, you can see this one is coming from this IDOC. This is the outbound IDOC. You also have to configure this IDOC. Uh, like pause DW. this one uh, create multiple this one you have to configure as a inbound idoc into your card system also in ad idoc uh, i show you uh, bond tab ums how you configure you have to configure this one also inbound idoc postr create multiple so that uh, data will be start coming from your pi to card system using this idoc so uh this is the monitoring part now i am show you a uh, idoc 
sometimes words happen you can see this idoc here properly everything is proper but this idoc not reach here here means your monitoring place you can't see any data here uh when we execute uh, and giving the date this is the date this is the posting date of idoc uh, you can see of sales and we have to put the date here and now after putting the date you can't see any transaction here but idoc pi pulls the data here so what is the issue so issue is that sometime pi forget to push this one by right? like retail type code this code is important like this is for sales this is for return which code you are sending sometimes sometimes pi's forget to missing so any mandatory field is missing uh, from uh, pi to car like uh, in this idoc if you find anything is missing mainly this is the mandatory you can say or uh, you can say if there is no state store id or anything date is missing or if even time stamp also you have to put the time stamp like this way anything is missing among this data then that data will not reach in monitoring part so you can't see a single data into your monitoring part of post dta so uh, it is mandatory like uh, pi properly push the data like uh, type code is there date is there store is there um, transaction number also be there and time stamp must be this way okay so deepali sorry to interrupt you like if any standard field is missing then there will be idoc failure no see no uh, for idoc it will be passed like I, i would like to show you if i uh, let me check the idoc number this one okay yes, so still it will be in 53 status no 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 it will be in green status proper uh, like yeah success status it will be in uh, you can say 53 status here for inbound but you can't see that data here um, okay. like uh, monitoring part field value will be missing yes field value okay. is missing so this is okay, not important for in 53 status yeah yeah idoc will be in 53 status idoc will be in success status idoc is properly in your car system but you can't see the data into a monitoring workbench post monitoring workbench and um, if a no data is a workbench then we can't push this data all this data into our ecc it's system it's so yeah, yeah. so uh, you if uh, this is a real time scenario whatever i am uh, telling you like uh, you can see it's in uh, 53 status like success status but you can't see any data is there so what you have to do you have to check <coughs> like anything is missing there you have you can compare the um, success uh, uh, i mean any um uh, data here whatever in is post work there you can you have to put put uh, like pick the um idoc number from here you can see you can search from w802 uh, just proper success uh, um, idoc which is properly posted into workbench and you can compare both two idoc then you will be really achieve what is missing so um, so sometime you, you uh, here and everyone uh, will be say you like it is green status so there will be any, any possibilities like your configuration is uh, something is either Are missing for post DTA. So uh, no, it is not like that. Uh, still here, uh, no configuration we are going to use. No use of any configuration of post DTA. Still here to reach the data to post DTA. There is no configuration. When we push the data to ECC, now configuration of whatever we configure, then it will be uh, used. Uh, started use for your um, data picking or anything you can send in the idoc creation so uh, if there are any issue then you have to check this idoc and which idoc uh, you are going to use and all suppose and, uh, if you come to now like uh, store id is missing so in that case what do you have to do uh, well here here yeah, uh, idoc it is in 53 status it is uh, store id mm -hmm. is missing and uh, mm -hmm. the transaction has not yet reached into password bench so in that case uh, yeah. we should manually edit the idoc and reprocess it or uh, we should request the yeah, accept to see, again repush it 
see this is uh, basically uh, this is we can, two type of thing we can do like we can manually uh, go to w19 or we can manually create a, again a new idoc uh, like uh, another idoc will be created and it will be uh, you can add it uh, this uh, store id and you can process this this is the number one you can do that but for that each and every state um, generally in prd we can do this one also or you can request pi because one more thing if each uh, like if uh, this one is missing for a single time then you need to check why pi not push this 2000 for this only this particular transaction code uh, for uh, sorry transaction type so you need to check with pi person because this is all this responsible of pi because next time when again this type of data will be start coming then uh, what happened again you you have have to manually go uh, to EW19 and you can uh, edit this IDOC and then post it a new IDOC. So it is better to ask your pre I person uh, what is the issue because we have to uh, fulfill, uh, like you can say, ignore all this type of issue so that data will be started uh, process fully. Uh, like you can say, um, proper integration uh, started from POS to um, car, uh, ECC, and we don't have to do any manual uh, entry for that. So if you receive, you you don't receive this one. So first, your work is you have to talk with your PI person. You have to inform your transaction type code. Then he or she can check into PI. Now, on that time that you are in PRD, you can edit this data manually for this particular W19. You can go or you can edit or uh, and post it. But for future, like this type of issue overcome, you have to overcome this issue for future. So you have to talk with PI person. Okay. okay got it, Dipali. Yeah. So this is the uh, real time scenario. And also, I would like to share one real time scenario. Like uh, here, you can see <clears throat> discount. Sometimes what happen? Um, uh, there you have a ten line item or five line item, but for the um, two line item, you properly you get discount and all. Like uh, for a, you, there's a ten line item and for five line item you get properly discount and all. But other five line item you are not getting any discount or any three um, uh, like you can say a uh, line item you are not getting data discount properly. <laughs> so it's not your issue you have to check with your pi person okay so this this is the issue this is not your car configuration issue this is the pi issue but yes you have to check uh, at least from your side like um, uh, you receive this or not go to the directly to this one and uh, you, there is a uh, different different uh, t code uh, sorry different different segment let me check if we found any segment. Yeah, this is the, the line item for this one. Yeah, this one. For that, the, if there is any discount, you can see this discount here also. So you need to check with, <clears throat> if you get this discount here, you can see this discount here. Then you need to check uh, why it's not coming. Uh, like generally, if you see this discount here, <coughs> then it will be reflected in monitoring part. But if it is not there, then you can check with PI because for more line item, PI sometimes fail to push the uh, like a discount for um, all line item or any other, not only discount, you can see if there is any other thing also you, uh, for line item, it will be PI, there's some missing uh, thing in PI mapping, like uh, they forget to mention then. Uh, they have to mention this type of uh, thing. So it's not your issue. If you can see properly here, then it must be there. <coughs> Just see, uh, in configuration, discount is maintained properly. So all these are real-time scenario. You can see <coughs> this one. Now, uh, <coughs> here we use only uh, w02 uh, for uh, monitoring and w16 for uh, uh, if you want to if you would like to see all the segment field then you have to go to w60 and we know the, like uh, how we configure the uh, w20 the um, you can see the 
uh, detail of configuration of uh, idoc uh, so you have to uh, do this part also but this is the main thing in real time we do with car basically with uh, pause dta you can say w02 and one zero this is the important part of real time uh, this one we use for pause dta uh, monitoring and idoc monitoring w02 and all uh, sorry uh, mon zero or pause dw mon zero so so this is uh, whatever and whatever you can see uh, like if you go to any transaction here you can see uh, uh, you can choose any one then document flow then you can see the uh, number of idoc like uh, which idoc is created so from monitoring you directly can see the idoc detail and all which idoc is created um which one is uh, posted so from mon zero you can get each and everything uh, you no need to go to uh, directly again to w02 for each and every idoc for particular uh, transaction which idoc is created you can find from here also but uh, like uh, for ums and tab only uh, one idoc one idoc means club idoc there is a, if there is a, it's uh, 10 idoc for ums tab it will be posted only one idoc because it it will be aggregated the data then it will be posted but for ums uh, sorry for wp1 it will be posted one by one uh, whatever you can see there is one here you can see all these are uh, immediately so whenever pi pulls the data it will be posted immediately so there is no uh, background job and all because you can see it's also a testing system uh, for mm -hmm. me so this is the monitoring and all <clears throat> so i think it's a little bit uh, clear for uh, uh, monitoring and uh, ido right Deepali, in this case, we will be able to see only the outbound IDOC which is going from car to retail, no? like a car right. to VC system. But uh, right. uh, from this workbench, will you be able to know like uh, which transaction is uh, being posted for the inbound? Uh, which one? Uh, if for inbound means... Uh, no, like for one IDOC will be coming to like a pause create zero, create multiple that uh, IDOC type will be there, no? that we can check in W02. That will be creating right. a transaction in this workbench. So from this transaction, we'll be able to know that uh, IDOC number which will be created using that create multiple 04? Uh, no. So what you need to do like uh, this IDOC, when you created this IDOC, so for this, you need to check this one, this value. We generally choose this one, transaction number and date. So first you have to give the date here, uh, because here you can see in monitoring here, you can see the IDOC number. Here you can directly go to uh, this um, uh, number, um, sorry, uh, here, uh, this number, transaction number, just copy this one and it, 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 uh, pick the date also, like uh, 2510. So go to WE02, you have to give the date like uh, 2510. Means manually we have to check based upon the timestamp only, no? Directly yeah. it will not navigate from workbench. No, no, it will not possible directly from here. It will be only possible for outbound. Okay, for okay, inbound, fine. it will be not possible. Okay. We have to check by timestamp and uh, based upon that, we have to check the IDOCs which got processed in a particular time and based upon this uh, transaction only, we will be able to get. Right, right. Based on the particular okay. transaction, we need to get the detail. Okay, so okay. you don't need to okay. go any, uh, from here you can't uh, see any inbound IDOC. So only this is the... Okay, so um, uh, for, for uh, sorry for outbound we getting here like for car outbound we can get here but for inbound like PI to car it will be not, not possible uh, to trace from here you need you have to go to W02. Okay. Okay. Is it clear or not? Yes, it is clear. Is it clear? Okay. Um, Ananda, uh, is it clear for you like how we monitor and which IDOC? Yeah, yeah, I think it's fine actually. So, thank you. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, this is you can say this is the um, uh, monitoring part and all for as a uh, pause DTA when we configure, we generally in real time we did any match is there. Like, I'm giving a real time example. Uh, 
uh, here you can see whatever the value it will be same into your ecc on that day same into your post system if there anything missing as a car consultant or you can say a post dt consultant first you need to check from your um, here like it is match with your post to uh, this one or ecc now i'm giving an example if anything missing is there like uh, here you can see uh, not 15, 1600 uh, that value you can see um, only uh, 1547 uh, something is missing uh, here so how you check we check uh, like uh, using first we check using this one this number this is an important number for us because we don't know what is pos we know only pi we means car consultant we don't know what is pos our work it is pi so we know pi car system know only pi so what we did we check with this number we uh, compare we ask um, uh, pi which number uh, like which transaction number they process and also ask pos person to give the detail of the transaction number and if anything missing between um, pi uh, like you can say first you compare the post uh, data transaction data and with um, you can say card uh, transaction key like uh, if you ask pos person they will give you that key and you already have that key so you can check uh, manually from here or from w20 also uh, sorry w0t uh, you also like i of monitoring part also you can check from there also <clears throat> so if anything is missing go ahead this is the transaction number so we generally do this one so see uh, there is a duplicate also because it's a testing you can uh, in real time we don't use this type of thing we have to use duplicacy check for real time but i'm talking about how we, if anything is missing how you do uh, we compare this sheet we, you can uh, take this into your xml file you can export this file and it will be give you a detail of transaction number in xml format and you have already have the xml file for pause you can compare both two using vlookup or anything manually also you can compare you if you don't know vlookup so <clears throat> If anything is missing there, you can ask PI person what is the, where is the transaction number this one? <coughs> Sorry, I still didn't receive this one. So what happened? Then PI will check, is it received? Is this fail? Or it is in still in query uh, or it will be in like process or you can check uh, like if PI process then where is the data? Maybe it's fail here. Maybe try, uh, I code, sorry, IDOC is fail here into your card system. Then you can analyze uh, what is the reason of failure IDOC. So this 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 is the way of uh, between pause and card. Uh, we uh, find out the missing uh, sales. Now, if there is any mismatch between your ECC and card, then why what we do? then for uh, for aggregated uh, sales like for ums and tab it little bit like uh, you can say hard working because it will be club all this thing and it will be posted only one idoc so you have to manually go into that idoc and you have to manually check uh, to open one by one this idoc and you have to manually match this time with car with ecc which time which date <clears throat> for which store so it's little bit um, uh, like manual process you can see because in uh, uh, idoc you can't see this number or if you want to see this number in ecc you have to enhance your idoc uh, ums tab and born idoc you need to enhance uh, and not for ums tab for born i think you need to enhance uh, to get this number so it's based on requirement if there is if you are going to go with a uh, standard one standard format then you need to uh, give manual input like uh, check the time timestamp check the date check the store then you can finally find out which data is missing so this is the uh, this way you can validate between ecc and your car and uh, pause and car if the data is missing and all so
this is a monitoring part and also uh, you can copy this idoc like i'm just copy this one if they you are in dev system then you can't ask your pi team to send a uh, sorry pos person to send again and again data you can copy this one you can save this one you can uh, uh, then execute this one so it will be see it is in green status when i will uh, execute then if for the here you can see all this task is related now uh, whatever relevant with this task it will be processed and another task will be not processed like they see this is rejected and it is not relevant 10 and 11 is rejected and 13 14 is uh, um, uh, process as per our configuration we already configure task task group from here so this way, if there is any error, you can see here from message, you can see the detail of that transaction. Um, if any failure, who process this data, when process this uh, data, every time, everything will be, uh, you can see. When PI pulls the data to monitoring area, that uh, like uh, you can see detail also you can give. So this is all this thing is the monitoring part. Uh, generally we did. Now I would like to go to training system. So uh, pause DT, I think it's a little bit clear. Now, today I would like to show you multi-channel. It's a important module of um card mm. multi channel i i'll uh, first i will tell you so pause dj monitoring plus little bit clear now i'm going to this system and i will show you multi channel What happened? So, so how you show you what is multi-channel? Multi-channel means um, see whatever uh, previous like before car there is only one channel. What is that? That was working store like normal store where we go and purchase thing and um, uh, return and happen so this are called uh, you can say uh, work in store now with car we can configure multiple uh, channels what is multiple channels multiple channels mean only not only store if you are um, um, like a retail you are a retailer you are going to use online uh, store also like uh, mobile uh, shopping online shopping and um web shopping call center shopping so any other type of shopping if you are going to use then uh, you have to use a uh, car because car support multi channels now what is that go to spro you you same way like uh, i i show you working store same way you have to connect with your um, any store like any web store any online store so if you open this one now remember pause details mandatory whatever i show you whatever store you mentioned like uh, m22 m23 we don't know right now like m22 is online or m22 is uh, web store we don't have any information still now we treat this store is a uh, <coughs> working store but till now if you are going to use another store like uh, um, channels another channels like web channel mobile shopping that till now whatever we did in positivity it is mandatory you have to do this then you have to configure for multi channels how do you know like your m20 store is M22 store is for um, any other channel. So this step will 
allow you to maintain your multi channels for that i'm just open this one here you can see <clears throat> so uh, i think multi channels is little bit uh, clear here if you open this different order channels which are multi channel foundation and here you can see all this are multi channel phone mail store device mobile pickup wholesale order wholesale order returns if you are going to use wholesale then you can use um this uh, you can use it as a multi channel so you have to configure this one also here so based on your requirement you can um use this uh, as a uh, your uh, multi channel multi channels means think different different channel car collect uh, different different channel data into one place and then uh, you can use this uh, multi channel data for your any future use now what is the use of your future use uh, like you, as a retailer you have a three uh, channels what is that you are going to use web uh, call center and um, mobile now what is this use how do you know like which is uh, which uh, perform is good web channel performance is good i mean to share like sales uh, is good there in web or sales good uh, where in mobile shopping or uh, through uh, working store which channels perform good so how do you know so for that uh there is a hana views standard views using that views you can create report but for report or uh, not only report you can create a mobile um chart also like a graph high low like for wave you like just open this uh, apps mobile apps you can see the uh, graph like uh, in cricket we generally see the graph like uh, which is high which is low so this type of graph pie chart everything we can uh, create using that view uh, there is a standard view i will give you the detail of that view but um, the area you can see if i going to use the mobile uh, application then you need to use the fiori apps you need to connect the fiori apps with your hana studio and you have to use that view a same way you want a report normal report then you can connect your uh, hana studio with uh, any excel file then you can find create a excel file report if you want a more flexible report you can use lumira or you can use uh, not only that like uh, you can use your han uh, hybris commerce to with your uh, card uh, also now why this commerce use a web shop and generally in real time we like we would like to connect uh, high base commerce with um, card as a uh, web shopping so basically this is the use of multi channel uh, like you can compare which channel sells good like You don't. You don't have a. You are. You are a store manager. You have a only mobile application. You just open this application. You can compare all the store all all over world channel data, uh, like which data high, which data low, and um, <coughs> for that you need to configure some here. You can use this one, and all these standards zero one zero two zero three. this one is standard all this are standard uh, you can use this one also in configuration or you can use like this one like a w1 or b1 b2 whatever you it's your choice but we prefer in real time to create uh, order channel like this way like i'm going to create and uh, and in report like i'm talking about report in report uh we see uh, not in report uh, i'm don't talking about report i'm not talking about report let's uh, think about uh, views hana views in hana views you can see this data on uh, this one 07 or 08 this order channel with description so that in uh, report you can see if you find from report also which channel say performance good so you can find from report also and uh, here you can find 07 means store desk service so this way we can create now uh, i will show you how you have to configure uh, multi channel 
Multi-channel means remember different different channels. Channels means where sales return, everything is happen. Like we have a lot of online shopping in real time. We have a mobile shopping. We uh, call center shopping like if some call center person call you and they uh, force you to say purchase this thing. So call center shopping is there. So all this depend or your your requirement which channels you are going to use so that car collects all this data into one place and it will give you information using uh, mobile apps using um, um, report you can see the channels performance you can see so i will uh, show you how you have to configure this one i'm taking this one as uh, like we are, we are going to use email so what is that like give any name you want or you do your email or em or say email order channel email order channel set this one whatever you are going to use the channel first you need to do uh, like uh, configure mention here like yes i am going to use this uh, order channel now come back now here you can see multi channel for sales uh, enablement for sales document now here you have to mention which sales <coughs> organization which distribution channels which one uh, sales document type you are going to use for your order channel and for this here uh, you can't manual in, uh, input here like uh, you are going to use sales organization and put as zero or something no a system will not allow you for manual entry it's mandatory to check a four value now here you can see there is no a four value because why because uh, it's a uh, hana uh, views not they contain the data properly and this sales organization distribution channel whatever you can see here after a four it is replicated from ecc to your car system sorry hana studio using slt here we are uh, not properly slt use so no data found so if you f4 here yeah, unable to read distribution chain data because no data in um background hana studio that's why it show you blank now i will show you if you if, if i like uh, we um, give manual input then what happen like uh, i'm giving any s sales uh, organization s0 sa1 and remember whatever i'm writing here it's must be replicated from ecc to uh, hana studio else see here uh, in real time if uh, uh, like uh, it's like this in real time hana studio not content data then you, you are not able to use um, uh, multi channel i will show you like uh, for distribution channel channel 01 you can see 00 sales document type zsty order channel here you can see if you, after a four this is the order channel now i am if when i press save this one your system will not allow me to save this why because all these are not uh, replicated into hana studio let's see see redistribution chain data unable to read because this data would not uh, like uh, not replicated into your ecc uh, hana studio so it's mandatory to see all the data properly in hana studio here in real time you are not able to use your order channel so see system will not allow you to uh, save this because uh, you are hana studio blank does not contain any data so you are not able to use uh, distribution uh, sorry multi channel uh, for your car system why for each and every channel you need to specify which sales organization organization which distribution channel and sales document type you are going to use like if i am going to use three uh, channels web email mobile so for three channels sales organization organization must be three different not same sales organization if you are going to use system will not allow you to use same sales organization for different different channels 
for only one channel one search organization then next then next so in uh, real time if you are going to use multi channel different channel in car then it's mandatory to use uh, you have to configure into your ecc system or retail system different search organization uh, um, for different multi channel you have to configure for distribution channel search organization you have to configure this one so that uh, you can use three, four, whatever you need, whatever you need, multi-channel, different, different channel, and it is properly replicated. Here you can see system not allow us to save this because it is not replicated. So it is mandatory step because uh, how system know like which cells organization you are going to use, uh, <coughs> like uh, mm, uh, which, uh, which one you, you are defined for your uh, mobile and all. So you have to, or define here proper sales organization and everything. So, no, sorry. Yes, now come back. Now here, uh, our work is you can say just define order channel and define a sales document order channel to particular, um, you can say uh, order channel, uh, sales document for particular channels. Now, we have to go back to pause DTA. Here directly you can go to uh, from IMG or you can go through here. When we open this one, here you can see this option, multi-channel enablement for pause transaction. What is that? That we configured Z002 now uh, profile. Now this profile we have to mention <clears throat> for our channels this one we created okay so uh, for that uh, we mentioned the, we have to mention the value this one uh, and one more thing if you are going to use more than you no know, one order channel you need to configure uh, more than one uh, profile type like uh, it is not possible right uh, for, for only one profile every uh, data coming like from store from pause uh, sorry from your mobile store from your online only this profile will be used it is not possible you have to configure three different profile for three different order channel if you are going to use because uh, for store you, we configured this one uh, now we will assign this one as a uh, order channel if you are going to use uh, another order channel you have to uh, create another profile <coughs> sorry profile type now what is order channel filter for that if you want to filter if you want to filter like uh, you have a three order channel if you want to filter each and order channel based of any value then you can give this uh, value also it is uh, not mandatory like um, because we do define different different channel because it's a you can see it's a um, custom development for that we have uh, we have a baddie also let me check and we have to en enhance this baddie if you are going to use the filter value let me check there is a baddie for uh, I, I can't remember the baddie name there is a baddie we have to enhance uh, this baddie if you are going to use uh, this one i will i will check this baddie uh, there is a baddie we have to enhance for if you are going to use uh, this one you can say if you are going to use uh, the <clears throat> filter value uh, based on filter value you want to differentiate different different order channel then you can um, you have to enhance this baddie i will find a, i will find the baddie name then i will uh, tell you which baddie now <clears throat> assign order channels to sales item what is that in pause detail we configure uh, if you scroll down in pause detail we configure this one like uh, this is for sales this is for return uh, this two we configure uh, 2001 for sales 2801 for return so you have to mention also here like um, this one EM, this is coming from from EM also. 
and uh, sometimes what happen um uh, if there's any requirement like sales happen in online through uh, you can say through email and return like uh, you go to this directly to the store and you return these things if if any requirement is this type uh, then you can mention here also the channels you can mention this channel also which channels you are going to use for return so you have to mention this one and uh, here also um, like uh, any other channel i'm taking any one zero one so you can this one and obviously if you are going to use any filter that do to differentiate already we uh, in a previous step we mentioned we need to um, <clears throat> activate a baddie for that uh if you going to use the filter value and have to write some code for that add a code so this is the use of um uh, you can see uh, order channels different different sales order channel how you manage now what happen when data start coming from your different different channel you can monitor directly into your um you can see um uh, uh post positive workbench you can monitor it from there and you already mentioned this profile as a um like a email profile so when uh, it's starting uh, started data coming from email to um your car system then you can find out but in real time i didn't work with email i work with you can say with uh, um web and store and mobile so in email how e email data coming how you need to connect with uh, any email system uh, with the uh, first we need to connect to system right then data start uh, flowing so um, i don't have clear idea on that like if there is any email system and all and for web channel i use hybris commerce uh, and hybris commerce uh, for that directly rfc connection uh, sorry uh, http type of connection we set up with car and hybris commerce and then hybris commerce as a background and you can see the web channel whatever in online shopping we did generally you can use that <coughs> online shopping in hybris commerce so customer whenever customer buy or select or check any data it will be trigger into your ecc uh, sorry uh, car system and it will be give you the detail of data into your car system so car collect all this data from hybris uh, commerce to your uh, ecc system and you can see the data same like uh, mon zero monitoring part you can see the data as well as um, you can say <clears throat> um, also same idoc will be created um there is idoc will be created and data hub is there so this is a, another part of you can see wave and hybris and hybris commas and all but in real time um, uh, you can say we have to configure this way so uh, in future we can create report we can uh, um compare different different channels we can compare through mobile apps so this is the use of different different channels in real time so that all things in one place in car everything is in under one place so um, you can say this is the real time use of um order channel now order channels is uh, basically uh, like multi channel and multi channels means different different channel whatever i show you there let me go back but first the mandatory thing is like uh, you have to configure your positivity then you are able to use different different channels then you are able to use your multi channel because without sales data how do you know which channels push the sales data into your car system so for that you need to uh, configure your <clears throat> um pause detail is mandatory uh, configuration so i uh, so i think um, uh, multi channel is a little bit clear for uh, both of you how multi channel 
So for a particular store, can we use like multiple channels? For one store, can we use? For one store, can we use multiple channels, or for uh, one store can be used only for one channel? Ah, uh, no, no, no. See, for one store, uh, like you configure here Z zero zero whatever profile, and under that profile we configure two store. So we okay. can configure multiple store. Our uh, under uh, multiple store under any channels, like um, in uh, stores or web channels. You can configure multiple stores, okay? But uh, you need to configure only one profile. Means for one profile, one only one channel can be assigned. Right, right. Only one channel can be assigned. But under that, like you mentioned, it's a uh, M22, M23. It's we mentioned it's as a store, okay? So under that, it is called working store. So under that, you can mention multiple store, but only one profile you have to configure. Okay. So this is the, I got a very small uh, configuration of multi uh, channel. Yeah. Deepak, will you be able to show that a Hana Studio views? Means, do you have any access to that Hana Studio? See, uh, like um, right now, I don't have uh, uh, any access of Hana Studio, but in uh, because here Hana Studio is, uh, you can see. um not working properly in my hana studio uh, i can show you but uh, my hana studio also in i already told you in maintenance so um after some time maybe i will be able to show you the detail of view where you have to go after maintenance but uh, i don't know how need it will be take time maybe one week or two week so whenever i will if i will get any chances to get the detail of uh, hana uh, system because it's also maintenance uh, just for i uh, request them like I, i have some work so that's why uh, they allow me to work on them because it's uh, still uh, they all these are maintenance maintenance and all so if i get any chance so uh, i will show you as uh, what happen i will give you a proper path Part so if it give me the documentation uh, part of uh, like uh, where to go where to check I can check I have a honor to do yes 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 in, uh, yes, yes. That, that, that will I give you the path like uh, which node you have to open uh, yeah. which area that you have to go I, yeah that details if you can give I can uh, check on my yeah, own. Yeah, sure. that detail I will give I just uh, I have a documented properly which node which node you have to open for multi channel. And for uh, in future, in, for inventory visibility also, our work is basically with um, uh, you can say that using that view for inventory visibility because um, inventory visibility means uh, we need to create a report and all. I will give you a detail of inventory visibility also. And there is some view, lot of view we can say. And as per your requirement, you can use that view. And I have a path also. I will give you that of option. Okay. okay. so right now you can see um, multi channels is basically for different different channel you can assign multiple store for that um, or you can use but you have to use only one profile if you are going to use filter value you can assign any filter value using some writing some above code so this is the use of multi channel now yeah so um, now you can see um, but remember it's mandatory to configure post dta so this is the module of uh, two module of important module of a uh, car uh, generally uh, used by customer and yeah. can you hear me yes it is audible dipali and one more question like if you are uh, in real time implementing this multi channel uh, enablement for sales uh, what yeah. will be our role for uh, this hana studio and what will be our uh, Means uh, what we do from functional end. Apart See, from this configuration, uh, means what the requirement you have to do to this, uh, uh, the like uh, Hana Studio consultant and those things. Yeah. So, like uh, basically, what our uh, our work our work is like um, uh, Hana Studio view data data like uh, views fields content proper data like whatever you configure here. it will be reflected properly into hana views you have to check this part 
uh, if there is any missing like you can't see the um, channels there then you need to check uh, here that view what is happen there so our work is to check that view is work properly or not but um, uh, if in future use like if you are going to use any mobile apps or any reports it's not our area for that uh, you need to uh, like any theory consultant in lumira consultant or any um, like reporting for reporting person who, who created report generally they this is their work our work is view work properly data content properly data flows properly this is our work as a car consultant now uh, this is also uh, basically you can say uh, depend on um, uh, like a uh, uh, you can say um, organization wise like uh, if you have a um, authorization or privilege to work with uh, or knowledge of few years it's a added it's not a car consultant work if you have knowledge of theory apps then and your like uh, organization give the authorization to work with theory apps then you can create any um, application using, using mobile but as a car consultant our work is check this view content data properly because this view not only contain that data that data means that sales data multi channels data did this view contain the master data Okay. okay so our work is that but they basically depend on organization to organization and also like uh, as a car cons consultant i am working with uh, uh, hybris commerce so this is my organization uh, give me the privilege like you can go and can work with this one but uh, as a car consultant uh, i can't say you like uh, yeah i i side by side i done with um, hybris also no this is not my work it's my like uh, my um, you can see organization give me the authorization you can handle please handle the hybris commerce also so uh, that part because it is connected with car car okay. with the data okay. so so what happen uh, i have to check if anything is failure on our uh, data is failure and everything or configuration properly in car side so i have to check simultaneously also in, in hybris side also because okay. uh, i don't okay. know what happened there Okay. on my side i think everything is here properly car system properly work but i don't know i don't have a knowledge what happened there okay. so for that use okay. i was started to work on that hybrid commerce and I, like you can see i'm uh, now i'm a hybrid commerce consultant also so same like it's depend on your organization uh, um, like which people but basically as a car consultant your work is like that uh, like just check the views but you are not uh, um uh, not like you don't no one said you please give me uh, use that view create me any report on mobile there so no no one can do like this okay, okay. yeah uh, regarding this order channel filter you said that you, we need to use that baddy enhancement that baddy yeah yeah we need to say that baddy and tell to whatever it is fine or uh, like we should uh, be able to give the code also yeah we have to write some code also we need uh, to help we need uh, help of avapara also and it is uh, it's not mandatory it is optional <coughs> if you are going to use the filter channel then uh, sorry filter value then you can use uh, the um, enhancement and i will check and i will inform you because it depend on requirement sometimes we don't require like a, a customer organization don't require no don't have need any or filter value it's okay so you don't need to do anything it optional it's not mandatory okay okay so this is the area of multi channels you can see and positivity also uh, okay. and uh, yeah yeah i mean i'm not very familiar with the hana studio okay so we yeah. talking so, about hana studio you can you explain in a basic terms what does it mean <laughs> what happen view is nothing what is view view is a collected collection of different different table fields like i'm talking about there is a standard view i'm giving a name like a multi channel query multi channel query is a view and if you open that view that view um, contain what like uh, we have a different different table like mara marsi maddi or any other table like a uh, Uh, T zero one W. So any table there is a four table is there. Standard table I am talking about. 
now we don't need all values all fields uh, um, uh, from this table we need four table for mara for five table for marcy three table for t 00w so for finally d so view so you the projection like a view like the five field for mara three field for marcy three for d 00 so and finally it show you the view and you know like i have a view standard view multi channel cells multi channel uh, cell squared and it is the standard view and it's nothing but a collection of field from standard table not from any other table only standard table and yes you can create your custom view also using your standard table you can create this also but all these are um, like you can see uh, Uh, you can you create the uh, stand master uh, sorry custom uh, views you can create any um, uh, other custom um, uh, i can for i forgot the name also segment no not segment something uh, there is a term i forgot but view basically collection of field from different different tables okay so whatever like uh, you can uh, you can say like uh, with the help of abapar uh, we write some code and select some data into a internal table so view is type of internal table but not a temporary data it will not collect so we can't call this a internal table internal table collect data temporary at run time but view content data permanently so like uh, you can say uh, mara marsi madi uh, four table is there three table or four table or five table and we show you that data and you don't need to do anything you just use you just open that view and see data is there or not because uh, as a car consultant we can say uh like uh, we don't need to do any uh, custom views we don't need to do any other thing with hana studio uh because um, uh, our work is with configuration of car site it's a uh, database of car uh, hana studio but yes you can check data is replicated properly or not and or if anything is failure there like uh, you found uh, data is not there in table so it's not your work to replicate data using slt you have to ask your dev system or hana administrator who uh, manages this hana uh, studio it's their work but uh, you can use uh, from your side also if you have a uh, authorization to use hana studio and all you can open this one also and you don't i already show you there is a standard program just open this and check so uh, and check uh, data is properly replicated into your uh, hana studio and not so remember view is nothing but a collection of standard field from a standard um uh, table you can create your custom views also okay understand correctly and, right what you saying yeah uh, go ahead sorry yeah and one more thing if uh, you are going to create any report like a uh, report like, uh, like uh, in bibw we uh, when we are use pos dm system in bibw we are creating report using bibw system because in pos dm bibw is a uh, database by for for car uh, hana studio is the database so uh here uh, like in pos dm we created any report for using bibw but here in hana studio uh, if there is any requirement to create any report like just i give uh, told you like for multi channel we have to create any report and all if there is a requirement like this so you have to use their view there is a view name uh, multi channel query multi channel cells query multi channel billing query different different view there and different different field you can see based on your requirement uh the person who are going to create the report they have to use this uh this views and all so views nothing but a collection of fields and uh, which fields for any standard uh, table and also remember when we open a view 
you can see which field which data sorry which table which data everything it will be tell you you will be tell you so <coughs> the person we will uh, like going to create report for him it will be useful like which table uh, and which field are going to like show that view content that view so it will be easy for you so give nothing but a collection of field just just uh, think on this you just uh, remember use collection of field uh, of like you can say different different field uh, from any table is two from other table is four so it is a collection of field okay and uh, what happen in real time sorry car, yeah in car check the master data from your view that view not from table so like here they give me uh, like you are a user when you log in into system you are you are user like sap user so in hana studio you have all the you also mentioned the person who create we install the um, uh, hana studio i don't also don't have this knowledge also because i am not a hana administration you can say i am not install hana and all but <clears throat> you, you have uh, like your user like uh, the whatever user like sap user car user that user have proper um, display change and um, creation authorization into your that view so uh, like uh, if uh, anything is missing here in car system it will give you dumb like uh, you don't have authorization to access this view then here you have you will uh, get a dump like uh, privilege and uh, authorization issue or privilege issue something like this error will be get and if you show this the error to your uh, administration person or basis person they will solve, solve this like give the authorization all authorization to your user into hana views so this is also mandatory okay so this is the this is the use of uh, um uh, hana studio and uh, car related together so our work as a car consultant our work is totally work with car we are less bother about uh, hana studio but yes it's mandatory master data is very mandatory yes we are not going to work with car any module and for that i already show you there is a standard function uh, program you just execute it will show you the error and success definitely <coughs> like uh, for the master data to flow from uh, ecc to car system like uh, for slt replication what will be uh, the task that is required from our uh, functional and means uh, what will be our roles suppose if you want to replicate the data to flow from uh, ecc to car system as a car consultant mm -hmm. what what should be our role for that slt see for slt uh, as a car consultant uh, you can say it's we don't have to do anything all these are basic activity but yes you can uh, check uh, like uh, data and table replicated properly it's fully a uh, basis work uh, and not only basis uh, it you can say it's a hana uh, sorry hana uh, administration work to configure slt to set slt but yes yeah, if you have full authorization you can do it your side also you can do from your side also uh, like a uh, go uh, first you need to connect ecc with slt and slt with uh, your uh, hana studio now <clears throat> go to ltrct code give the table name i have a list of there's a lot of list of table you can give all this table name or you can one by one and uh, just um, replicate button you have to press then data uh, table and data started replicated into hana studio now in hana studio there is a button data privilege on that button you can see uh, all the table uh, failure success every data is there you need to also in ecc side slt side also you can see failure success table but in hana studio also again you have to choose manually choose this uh, select this table and again you need to to select replication then only you can see that table into 
node under node left side uh, so node of hana studio then only you can see after the data privilege um you can see did not data privilege i can see uh, here yeah, data privilege maybe there you need to put the data uh, sorry table detail then again you have to replicate start replication then you can see the data uh, sorry tables into your hana studio node so this is the way yes. but yes yeah. yeah okay deepal but but remember this is better to uh, deal with the a person who have uh, a knowledge of hana studio else you need to um, like uh, if we are a, like a, not a um, hana administrator then we have to work a huge like it's a installation you can say like we have to create the uh, schema we have to create the uh, table SAP, SAP, ECC, under SAP underscore ECC. This name only you have to mention in your under schema, and also this name you have to mention when you replicated data. So there is, I will provide you the documentation of configuration of Hana Studio. But uh, you can read this if you have an authorization. You can read yourself. But the, okay, I will, I will, uh, I will prefer like um, because um, if system. is not properly in place then you can work with uh, any uh, module and all so it's a you can say it's a properly basis work but i'll provide you document all of you i will okay. provide you kind of like uh, which table you have to replicate and uh, which one you have to use which process ltrc use process slt application process step by step that one i also i'll provide you okay okay thank you yeah because uh, it's a fully uh, hana administration job and if anything is missing is there then it will be not uh, be easy for to work with uh, sap card <coughs> okay <coughs> so it's better to like uh, work with uh, that person uh, basis person but if you have a knowledge you can go with this so um, yeah so uh, i think uh, multi channels is little bit clear of you and how data flows uh, from uh, your uh, um started flows from your card uh, pi to card where you have to monitor is also clear uh, this way we generally define and tomorrow we will discuss about uh, multi channel sales um uh, you can say uh, views detail which view we generally prepare and also very important and on demand module no it's not module you can see that it's a module it's a part of hana uh, views only views after all this configuration like <coughs> positive configuration multi channel you able to use that view this is called in real time inventory visibility and this is very uh, like uh, you can say on demand and also we will start working on uh, demand data foundation so tomorrow we will first uh, discuss about this uh, um uh, views because our inventory visibility views there is some view uh, don't we don't need to do any configuration just need to check so i need to, i will show you that view and also path you can check from your system or no, in future if i get any chance i will show you <coughs> and we'll start work on demand data foundation because demand data foundation is a huge module so we will start on this Uh, how data you have to configure replicate and all will start uh, this one and uh, uh, then th this uh, after this on demand data foundation we can use this one omni channel because there is a five module i will show you this configuration omni channel pricing promotion okay jipali so, i don't have access to uh, hana studio you know no no need, so, no, need. I, no need okay yeah no need i'm for day one i'm to telling you no need uh, of access of hana studio whatever in future if i am getting any access i will show you but in future because our work not with working with this view but yes you have it's a good good to know the view name because if anyone ask you and also in document i mention the path like uh, which path you have to go Uh, and also uh, which step uh, you have to go 
so just open this studio in future when you are working with the uh, car and hana studio just open this uh, node one but there is nothing one by one, one node sap there is under when you node uh, open sap into hana studio you can see there is a node um uh, table you can open the table there is a option views retail or car views so this is the step so no need uh, to mention or read about views and all because our work is not like uh, creating any report or creating any apps the person who are going to use this one this is their area but for our knowledge uh, what is the use of inventory visibility because very interesting and very on demand uh, uh, of uh, um, of car so uh, we have to know the use of inventory visibility which view we are going to use and what is the use of um, that inventory visibility so uh, this is okay for us no need to use any hana views detail knowledge and then how you use feel no don't need to do anything okay so tomorrow we will start first uh, start from um views inventory visibility detail views and multi channel views then we we'll start the data foundation okay is it okay so no, fine people yeah, like okay. in last session uh, you have said uh, like you will be sharing some documentation regarding this rfc connection from car to uh, no, like you should share with julian he uh, maybe he forgot Okay. You can Julian ask. Julian has shared us the architecture, but uh, not the documentation with uh, for this RFC and IDOPS. Okay, okay. So let let me check just now. Uh, right now, I'm sending. You can ask uh, within five minutes. Okay, sure. Okay. Thank you, Dipali. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Bye.